Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Infinite Realms. Today, I'm going to take a look at Retro Carded, Target Exclusive, Goon Knight. I mean, Moon Knight. <laughs> so, I have known Moon Knight for a long time. Okay, I don't know him, but I know the character. And I first got introduced to him way back in uh, Marvel 2 and 1. And followed him along really a, a lot over the years. Uh, he had, he's had various stabs at his own series uh, and played a pretty prominent role in the uh, West Coast Avengers for a time. He was always a fun character. Um, a lot of people are just like, oh, he's just, you know, Marvel's version of Batman. And usually I say when you say that, you don't really know who uh, Mark Spector is, do you? But I always did like the character. I got the Moon Knight uh, earlier this year. That was also a re-release. That's kind of weird. Both Moon Knights are re-releases. I'm, I'm a little confused by that. It's like, well, yeah, we want to give you Moon Knight, but we don't want to put any effort into it. Now, that said, I do like this Moon Knight a lot. This was originally the Walgreens exclusive, and from what I can see, there is absolutely no change whatsoever in this figure at all. No change to accessories, no change to anything. However, it's a pretty killer figure, so yeah, why mess with it? I would have liked to seen a little bit of updating, you know, like maybe some pinless arms and pinless legs or something just to indicate, hey, we did something different now. But no. There's not. <laughs> I don't know if this is talking about the laziness of Hasbro or the laziness of the Marvel Legends team. I don't know. I really don't. But it strikes me weird that Moon Knight was released twice this year and both versions were the same exact version they released already. Now, do I mind so much? I mean, again, this is a great figure, so... I mind on some levels, and I don't on others. It's a really weird thing. I don't think they could get away with this too much. Moon Knight was one of the exceptions, because I really just wanted these two versions of Moon Knight. And now, he has that special feature where you can stick the moon blades into his, between his knuckles. And I'll be damned if I can only get one in, because as soon as I get one in, I go to put the other one in and knock the first one out. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. So I just gave up and just stuck with one. And he comes with uh, three of those smaller blades, uh, two of the bigger blades, a staff, and a swappable head. He actually has more, ac more accessories than the re-release of Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, but is $2 less. Well, let's let that speak for itself. Okay, maybe not more accessories if you count the little uh, under whip, underarm web, but really those suck, and they don't do anything, so I don't count them. <laughs> and I think it's pretty. I do think it's pretty cool that I did have get second chances at both these Moon Knights because man, Moon Knight to me, he's one of those really important. What a lot of people would call second tier characters but I always liked Moon Knight I always I always enjoyed Moon Knight and because of that I really just wanted to you know these two looks are perfect more modern look is great but the classic work look is always something great to go with too you, you can't go wrong with a classic look and one thing that befuddles me <laughs> befuddled I did notice that you know his fists have the crescent moon on it. But when you go and look on his gripping hands, they don't have the crescent moon. Now, a lot of people might just say, oh, well, they just reuse hands. But you see, here's the thing. They had the crescent moon hands done with the more modern Moon Knight. So I'm not sure why they didn't just do that. I mean, you could just redo it and paint it white. I don't know. I, I'm confused. Now, to be honest, I do like kind of the black 
uh, face cowl over the white hood because it, it does break up the overwhelmingly white figure. And, you know, de what details we have, I mean, that belt is awesome. And uh, the pearlescence on the uh, both the gauntlets and on the boots is really nice. Because it really makes for a nice, nice figure. Articulation is pretty standard to a Marvel Legend. There's not really much different to say here. Good. Really good. Um, he does the ab crunch just fine. Everything works. The only thing I would say that's an even minor bit of a knock is the cape will either get in the way of doing certain poses or, in some cases, might enhance certain poses. It's a really weird thing. and You, you just have to kind of witness it to believe it so yeah though a basic re-release i mean again this one got to be hard to find and on the secondary market the original release is way overpriced so this is sort of welcome i kind of wish they had updated it but then again i just like moon knight and so i got him so i don't have to worry about it anymore yeah i mean i got the armored moon knight too but you know what i wanted both so for that reason i will say Collection goal achieved. And I will then have Moon Knight fight Moon Knight because if you know Moon Knight, that is not the weirdest thing to happen to Moon Knight. Okay, that wraps up Infinite Realms. This look at Moon Knight. I love him. Uh, I'm happy, happy, happy. Uh, thank you for watching and you have a great day.